Hi, and welcome to STEM Special Tips Every Month, a bi-monthly series brought to you by STEM Education Works. This is Corey, the Director of Curriculum and Professional Development. Today's episode will focus on the Little Bits Fuse app. To get started in the Fuse classroom, you're going to go to classroom.littlebits.com backslash login. It's a little bit tricky to find the classroom, so you'll have to go directly to it. So when you get to the sign in page, you're going to want to go down to sign up and then you'll use your school email because it will validate that you're coming from a school account and then you'll go ahead and log in. Once you get into the classroom, you're going to add your first class. So you'll start up here where it says add class name and you'll go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to do STEM first grade class A. Then you can change your grade level and then you'll add your class. And then the class will appear down at the bottom if you have other classes. If you go to the class, you'll notice that there is a Fuse Access code so your students can easily join your class and you can share assignments and activities with them and they can share their workspaces back with you. If you would need to remove a class, you can use this icon right here. Now you can easily add students to your roster. So you'll add their first name and their last initial, and they will then be added to your roster. You can access your students by selecting students, and then you can also access their workspaces. Once you have your classroom set up, it's time to get started with the actual Fuse Builder. So here's the build space. You can get to it by typing in fuse.littlebits.com backslash Builder. So this is the workspace and there are multiple options here that you can use. Students can use a block code interface if you'd like or you can stick with the bits that students are used to with little bits. So if you ever need help getting started you can click this little getting started and there's some tutorials in here for you. And you can also name your workspace. So you probably want to have your students do that so that they can save their workspaces with you. So I'm just going to go ahead and name mine sample. And I'm going to save it. And I can now load my sample as well. So the way that this works, it's very simple to use. Here are your different color bits, just like you have in your little bits kits. So we want to start out with a power bit, and it really doesn't matter which one you use other than if your students are going to be using a specific bit for a project, they probably want to mimic that as, as much as possible. So I'm going to use the bit plus cable, and I've added it to my workspace. So now I have an input, and I'm just going to do a very simple circuit where I turn on a light. So I'm going to use the input of the button. And you can hear it snap into place. So for the output, I want it to be a light. So I'm going to connect the green output. And you didn't hear it snap. There it goes. OK, so I have my power bit. I have my input, the button. And I have my output, the long LED. And then if I want to see if my, if my circuit will work, I click on simulate. I press the button. And you can see that it lights up. I can also get fancier by selecting different wires to add. So if your students are going to be using code bits or forks, if they want to have several different outputs happening at once, you can easily add that into your circuit. And now you have multiple things happening at one time using the orange wires. I'm using the fork here. And you can change the speed. So Little Bits is a great way to get your students used to using the different color bits and what their purposes are. And then just experimenting with different setups for activities. So this is a great free program that you can use in your classroom if you are using Little Bits. We hope you enjoyed our session today learning all about Little Bits Fuse. 
You can find us on social media at STEM Education Works, or you can reach us at info at stemeducationworks.com.